Hello everybody and welcome to Spiritual Bite number 286, dated July 8th, 2021. I'm Walter, your mobile historian and blue collar scholar. This Spiritual Bite is entitled, Who Are We to Challenge God? Human beings are, as I've stated many, many, many times, a very defiant creation. Because our Father in Heaven has given us such amazing abilities, abilities that, you know, are far superior than, you know, animals. Humans, you know, have often thought that they are the equal of uh, our Heavenly Father and, or if not equal, superior to Him. That we have a right to challenge Him, that we have a right to uh, second guess him and the bottom line is we don't okay Father God is not the president of the United States he is not a member of Congress he is not a mayor he is not a governor he is not a member of your local city or county council he isn't the local dog catcher okay he is not one that uh, is on the level of humanity in any way, shape, or form. So why on earth do human beings think we can challenge him? Good question. What makes us think we can challenge our unseen, all-powerful Heavenly Father? Well, part of the reason humans feel they have that right is because the Father gives us so much free will, perhaps too much. And, though I don't want to say that, because who am I to say that he gives us too much? He gives us just as much as he wants. But humans abuse it, and they often use that free will against the very wonderful Master Father who gave it to us. Human beings want everything to be perfect all the time. They want sunshine, but no rain. They want comfort and no pain. Human beings have a desire to, you know, want to always have everything the way they want it and not the way the Father may want things. And human beings will often outright say things like, Father, why have you made me this way? Why have you done this? Why have you done that? Why have you made me black? Why have you made me white? Why have you made me short? Why have you made me tall? Why have you made me gay? Why have you made me straight? Why have you made me light? Why have you made me dark? Now, I don't remember him asking you this when he was creating you. And even if he were to have done so in some form, it would have likely just been for statistical collection purposes. It's not like you were going to change his mind. He designed you exactly the way he wanted you to be. From head to toe, ladies and gentlemen, you are the Father's creation, no matter what you look like, no matter how you act, no matter how tall or short, no matter how your voice sounds, no matter how you look, think, act, eat, sleep, whatever the case may be, you are the Father's creation and he designed you exactly the way you he wanted you to be. You don't have a right to challenge him. It's not like it's going to make a difference anyway because it is set in stone. And of course, I will say that in many cases, if you kick and complain too much, you might find yourself in a situation you really don't want to be in. So you would be wise to be content and be happy with how he made you. As he is supreme and sovereign over all things, we are his creation. Who the heck are we? The creation to challenge the creator. I know he must probably look at us like Mm, mm, mm. You know, I gave them a lot. You know, I gave them so much that they think they're on my level. I've demonstrated to these humans, my children, time and time again, that they are not on my level. 
I have destroyed the world by flood to remind them I am supreme. They are not on my level. And yet they still act like they are on my level. <sighs> I know we must cause the father endless, endless stress at times, you know, with how we act down here. No human is exempt. All have fallen short of the glory of God. All have sinned and fallen short of his glory. Romans 3.23, folks. Okay. But the bottom line of my video is simply to point out that we are his creation. And as the creation, we don't have the power or the right or the any, any implied um, ability to really challenge our creator. Who do we think we are? The goal of us humans to challenge our creator. Yeah, absolutely not. And that is reinforced in the book of Romans, chapter 9, verses um, 20 and uh, 21. Okay? It reads, Nay, but, O man, who art thou that repliest against God? Shall the thing formed say to him that formed it? Why hast thou made me thus? Hath not the potter power over the clay of the same lump to make one vessel unto honor and another unto dishonor? Okay? So, bottom line, that's pretty straightforward. Who are we as the clay to challenge the potter? That's a little backwards, right? We are the creation. He created us from head to toe. Who are we to challenge God? If he wanted to design us in this way, in that way that we think we should be, then he would have made us that way. I mean, humans have really got some gall with them that we think we have an inherent right to challenge our creator who is in control of every single breath that we take who is in control of whether or not we open our eyes to another day of life who is in control of whether or not we're able to talk anymore after today to see anymore after today to hear anymore after today he is in control of all of that. All of those things, ladies and gentlemen. So who the heck do we think we are to have enough stones to challenge our creator who at any time can take all of that away from us? And then we'd really be complaining then. And then what we were complaining about won't seem so bad after all. Just looking at it. With perspective, ladies and gentlemen, never, ever think that you are on God's level. God, our Father, is supreme over us at all times and in control over everything about us, every hour, every minute, every second of the day. And therefore, as I conclude, I say, be content. Who are we as the clay to challenge the potter? As the creation, we have no right to challenge our blessed creator. What we do have the right to do is to love him, honor him, and defer to him. So once again, that was from Romans uh, chapter 9, verses 20 through 21. We have no right to challenge God our Father. Okay. So I thank you very much for listening to this spiritual bite. Uh, if you gained some insight from it, please drop me a like on the video. That would be most graciously appreciated. And if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do so now. Just hit that little red subscribe button up there at the top and the little bell and we will be in business. Thanks again for tuning in. Stay safe out there and I will talk to you at the next video. God bless.